Hello ladies and gentlemen, James Blackwell here. And in today's video, I wanted to share the importance of having systems in your recruitment agency. So let's dive in. So what I realized early on in my agency, Ronald James, and after working with well, over 250 recruitment business owners and solopreneurs that wanted a skill. What I realized was like, we don't rise to the level of our actual goals in the business and in life. You end up falling to the level of your systems. And when we talk around systems, like you've got to have key pieces for each individual uh, process within your agency, yeah? And one of the lifeblood things of an agency is having a consistent revenue stream to generate clients coming inbound to you. So the first thing that we want to make sure that we're building in the system is having a client, I call it a client delivery machine. And this is a consistent way that you're going to get clients, leads coming inbound to you. And then you need a consistent way of how you're going to convert them into um, exclusive or retained clients. Now, once you've really drilled down into this pillar here, then you can move on to getting candidates. So I think for most people at the moment, it's a very candidate-driven uh, market, which is good. This is what we want as an agency. So the next thing we need to build is a candidate, I call it candidate delivery machine. So you're going to have to create a, a way of how you're going to get candidates coming inbound into your agency. So yes, there's traditional methods like headhunting and messaging on LinkedIn one-to-one -one with an individual recruiter or you yourself. But can you look at ways of how you can build some automation within this candidate delivery machine? Is there a way that you can automate some of the outreach? Is there a way that you can engage with candidates? It's a little bit more unique and different. And a way to actually properly nurture these passive candidates and be able to reach out to them at a point when they're looking to move positions. So having a consistent way of like how you actually map your candidate market out how you actually nurture them in a database and how you actually automate some of these outreach tasks and have a unique way of engaging with that candidate market. And then that comes on to sales. So like sales within recruitment is your delivery team. So do you have a constant, uh, consistent delivery of your recruiters actually delivering the business? So, in order for them to get to three to five deals per month, then you wanna make sure you've got a consistent way of how you're gonna feed them candidates. So having a candidate delivery machine, having a marketing machine, which I'm gonna come on to next, and then having consistent platinum and exclusive clients that they can like fill positions for, gives them more leverage. So all they should be doing is focused on speaking to highly qualified candidates every day in their diary being able to send those candidates uh, and close deals. And that's like really your sales machine for your recruitment delivery machine. And then the final things as you scale is having a marketing machine. And this is a way of how you're gonna build your brand, how you're gonna build more candidate and client attraction coming inbound to you and have a consistent way to be front of mind. So one of the things I did in my agency, Ronald James, we acted like a small giant. So our competitors were a lot bigger than us but we really leveraged like social media, uh, LinkedIn and different outreach methods to really be front of mind and be noticed. So developing a marketing, ma marketing machine properly where everything's related and tied back to can this uh, marketing pillar deliver more candidates inbound? Can it deliver more clients inbound? And can it help your delivery consultants do more deals? And this should be your ROI, like revenue generating uh, pillar in your business. So most people go wrong by just building a marketing like manager role or a marketing consultant role. Really, we need to make sure that this is a system. Because if you want to keep growing past like your 20 to 30K per month right now, if you're watching this video, you need to start investing in a team or you're going to get burnt out. Now, if you want to work like 80 hours a week, that is fine, but it should be an option not a requirement. So there's so many business owners that I speak to that have been in the Recruiter Accelerator program that were overworked at working 60, 70 hours a week, weekends, checking emails, etc. 
And they had golden handcuffs in their business because the business didn't run without them. And they couldn't choose when they wanted to work. They had to do this work. So there's a difference between like when you've actually got systems in your business, then you've got assets. And the assets in the business are your people, your processes, intangible assets and systems that they can consistently get business coming into you. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you're interested about how to build out these systems a little bit more closely and work with me more closely in terms of getting the plug and play exact template systems, strategies, and tools that we use that I used in my agency and we've helped over 250 agency owners scale to six and seven figures now, then book a call or demo in with myself or one of my team in the comments below. And uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe as I'm trying to my best to give as much value as I can on these videos. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.